These look like mushrooms, don't they? But they're not. They're gluten-free masa dumplings, belly button soup. Want to know how to do it? Let's do it. Give those beans enough water to spin, an onion, some garlic, nothing else. It takes about 21 minutes for beans to cook, so we're going to split that in half, do 11, then come back to it, take the lid off, add nor tomate, some tomatoes, and a stick of butter. That really is a stick of butter. And put the lid back on and do your other 11 minutes. When you're done, you have something that looks a little bit like this right here. And we're going to add some celery salt. We're going to add some cumin and some pepper. And let that cook another 10, 20 minutes just right there on simmer. Then we're going to remove all the solids, especially those big chunks of onion and garlic. Um, and take out most of the beans too. Just leave a little bit in there. So you mostly have liquid. You put the liquid in the blender, and I blend this quite some time, about three or four minutes. So when you're done, you need to strain it. Now, we're not making uh, refried beans, but you can use this same stuff for soaking your tortillas in to make an enfriolata, which is like an enchilada, but instead of chilies, you're using the bean soup. So you got something like this when you're done. And you heat it up again, you add some uh, more bo uh, uh, broth, see me add it right here, and bring that up to a simmer. Be careful not to let it burn. Take your masa, add some cilantro. I use, instead of salt, I use uh, nor tomate. Uh, I usually, usually use two of those, butter and oil, and four um, ounces of queso fresco. And I mix this stuff up while it's dry first, and then I add my three quarter cups of water or however much water I need to make these little, uh, they look like mushrooms, but they're not. They're basically masa belly buttons. So you make them out like that, make sure they're not cracked, and you gently plop them in to your soup there, making sure that you don't break them apart. So you have something that looks like this. Um, I'm going to cook this for about an hour on slow cook. Sometimes you may need to bring the simmer up, but when you're done, you have something that looks like this. And you want to touch those things every once in a while, make sure they're not slimy. If they don't feel slimy, like they're going to fall apart, then they're done. And you add a little crema, a little cilantro, and this is what you have. As it turns out, my kids loved it. I was so surprised. And it's gluten-free.